probably then urge people, if it were dangerous, to leave. Should Australians stop using Facebook? Ultimately, that's a question for individual people to decide whether on balance they, they wish to use Facebook. Do you use it? But I use it in a small way. It's certainly very important for us here at the Australian Human Rights Commission to be able to communicate using lots of platforms. And, and we know the vast majority of especially young people here in Australia use social media. Is one of the difficulties here that, in a way, you're trying to tame a beast that is now too big? and has more power, arguably, than certain countries. Any multinational corporation that has grown to a great size wields a great deal of power, and that is a challenge for governments around the world. But they can't just throw up their hands. Every company um, has to take its social license seriously, and that means they must work cooperatively with government. That was Edward Santo, Australia's Human Rights Commissioner, Will Guyatt used to work for Facebook's news partnerships team, and he now covers the company as a technology journalist. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Be under no illusion, this is a shakedown by the Australian government. This is uh, essentially the Australian government pointing out that organisations like Facebook and Google could do more to fund media. The problem is this law poorly defines, or this proposed law poorly defines what media is and getting people like News Corp, Australia's biggest media organisation, signed up, it does nothing to support grassroots journalism or those people who could really benefit from something like this being pushed through as a okay, law. Okay, but so hold on. So just so just in terms of the principle of what they're you might not not approve of the way they've done it, but the idea that Facebook should 